Hi, so today we are going to go over the differences between monos and lymphs. This video should be able to help you see the differences between them and the reactive forms of the lymphs too. Um, you know, when you look at the scope, you don't really know what you're going to get, but hopefully this can help you. Okay, let's start with the monocytes. So immediately you can see that it's a large cell. The RBCs around it are much smaller than a regular monocyte. And then as you can see, we'll talk about the cytoplasm first. The cytoplasm is bluish gray. It's pretty large compared to the nucleus. The NC ratio is really, really kind of like equal. So there's a large nucleus inside and there's a large cytoplasm outside. And there's vacuolation. As you can see, there's vacuoles. For this guy, it doesn't have it. Um, so it can have vacuoles. It, it wouldn't have it sometimes too. And uh, that's it. The nucleus on the monos are um, more elongated shape. And the coloring of it is not as opaque as a lymph. And you'll see it later. So they have a lighter colored nucleus compared to the lymphs. Okay, so these are the normal lymphs. These are easy to pick out on the microscope. As you can see, they're small, they're not that large compared to an RBC, and the nucleus is so compact and really, really dark and opaque and purple. So that's easy to see and that's easy to spot. You would know immediately that's a lymph. Now let's make it a little harder. So the reactive lymphs are the reactive form of a regular lymph. And this time, that's when the lines get blurred and you're like, is that a mono? Is it a blast? Is that, what is that? So, <laughs> so hopefully this video can help you. Okay, so this one's not that tricky. You can see that it's still very lymphy, that the nucleus is still really dark, really opaque. And the cytoplasm is just the difference here. The cytoplasm is pretty large now, but it's still like you can see it's not like the mono earlier. You can see that it's clear in the in inside and in the outside when it touches the RBCs, it starts to darken. Okay, there's a skirting and a darkening that's happening like this guy. So this these are all just reactive lymphs. And as you can see, the nucleus is not elongated. It's still pretty round. It's just larger. And then more reactive lymphs. So this guy is still a lymph. It definitely isn't a mono. As you can see, a mono does not look like this. Earlier, we covered how it's supposed to look like, and it's not. So this, this guy and this guy are kind of similar. They're probably plasma cells because they have the perinuclear huff right here, the lightning right here, like this guy. So they're just reactive lymphs as well. This guy is what we saw earlier too with the skirting and the darkening of the cytoplasm as it touches the RBC. And it's still pretty round, the nucleus is still pretty round and very opaque and dark purple. That means that's a reactive lymph. This guy is definitely not a mono. So you can see there's granulation here. Monos don't have that granulation that's found in reactive lymphs. So this is another form of a reactive lymph. So these guys all here on this slide are all just reactive lymphs. How about blasts? <laughs> okay, so let's include them on this topic because a lot of people get confused about that too. But blasts are pretty tricky. Some of them could look like lymphs. Because sometimes they're smaller than how they're supposed to be. But in general, this is how they should look like most of the time, hopefully. <laughs> um, they're big. They're large, larger than the regular lymphs. Um, but the giveaway, the difference between a blast, a reactive lymph, and a mono, you have to look at the NC ratio. The nucleus is so much larger. See that? And then the, the cytoplasm around it is really, really small. Like it's just a sliver of a cytoplasm. And um, there's also darkening, but they don't wrap around like nucleuses, uh, I mean RBCs. They're just there, but they're a thin layer. And you can see the nucleoli like just staring at you right here. Okay, so that 
makes it a blast. And then the chromatin inside is very loose and that's why it's very light purple. Like it's a very light purple compared to this. So you can see the difference, right? And so let's put them all side by side so you can see the difference. Okay, so in this slide you can see you can really see that there's a difference between a reactive lymph, a mono, and a blast. So these are all like conventional shapes of um, what you would see on a, on a scope on the slide. So here is a blast, a mono, and a lymph. So you can see the skirting here on the lymph, really dark, um, really dark nucleus compared to the blast and a mono. And um, you can see that the cytoplasm expanded, but it's pretty clear inside. And then the mono has, still has that grayish blue granula granulation inside. And then you can see the skirting here. And then the monos don't care about the RBCs. It's just doing its own thing. Whereas the blast has the largest NC ratio. The nucleus is just huge. You can see the nucleoli just staring at you. And the cytoplasm is super thin. I know you got this already. You should be able to do the next slide. <laughs> okay, so this is pretty straightforward too. These are all like, you can pick up right away which one's which. So which one has the darkest nucleus? It's this guy. So that must be A, lymphocyte. And then this one's the blast, and this one's the mono. And... That's pretty straightforward. You guys should be able to know your morphologies now and you should be able to pick up which one's which. <laughs> but you know, it's not always this easy. There's always going to be gray area. <laughs> but anyway, hopefully this video helps you identify these cells much easier, much faster. And you can see that the blast is staring at me right here with its nucleoli, the lymphocyte spread out um, cytoplasm right here and um, a little bit of a skirting, but it's still not a mono because a mono has a grayish blue granulation here, like really, really fine granulation. And um, with an elongated, lacy patterned um, coloring on the nucleus, not like this guy, which is really, really opaque and dark. And even if it has an elongated um, nucleus, it's still really very different from a classic monocyte right here. And so that's it. That ends my lecture on the differences between the morphologies of monocytes, lymphocytes, and blasts. And hopefully that helps you um, learning hematology. And here I'm ending it with a picture of Hawaii. Hopefully this relaxes you and I know you got it. Good luck and have fun. Bye!